I watch really good TV and really bad TV. Like I'm a total junkie for the other, the reality TV stuff. Like, and some of the worse, the better, you know. So I think you can't read about any serial killer that didn't start by torturing animals. Hi, this is Miguel, and this is Rapita too. I'm not the bad guy for not having a pet. It's the people like that are so stuck on having it that you know they lock him in the car or, or their kid wants you know it's like what for Easter or something. I know that there is a overpopulation, but my daughter has a uh, she they have two cats and, and they both they got both of those at the shelter. I mean like yeah, you wouldn't hear I read on this and about the dogs and the pigs and stuff like people wearing like, their dog or they have so I mean maybe I guess by age also education or whatever, so maybe if people look at those things a different way, it's crazy that you want to eat a dog to get protein and then you can get protein here. The writer of Franz Kafka, he was a vegetarian and I think it said that maybe he ate meat when he was younger a few times or once or something that it just, you could feel like the animal's energy and stuff. I mean I've had that tofu stuff that with the right seasoning and stuff, it tastes just as good. I don't eat any fast like I haven't eaten like that for, I mean that, like, if you do the math of it, it it's too cheap. I mean, just that, that in itself, you can't get, like, so to think about what, like, what has to be done for them to do that, I mean, it just stinks and you just see, like, uh, there is a time and place to, you know, I guess get active and get militant and if, if, uh, if you need to protect somebody or something that can't protect themselves, yeah, I guess just like education and public health, you know? Animals are fun. Mickey Avalon, call me Mr. Right.